<laughs> Guys, hear me okay? Everything's good? Yeah. You look, you look beautiful. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, everybody. Steven, uh, first first time, super, super hype. Uh, yeah, first time, yeah. For me, yeah. for everything. <laughs> for me as well, for just about anything, any public speaking. So. Oh, good, good. Okay. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> so when was the last time you two saw each other? We had, we just had a session. Yeah, we had a session, but. A remote then, session. Uh, a remote but... session, yeah, yeah, but it's been like at least a year, if not more. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I ran into you, because my last in-person session was at Okratron on Thursday, March 12th, wow. 2020. Yeah, 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 that's, <sighs> that might have been around, around that time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I it might have been around that time, yeah. yeah it's, yeah. Uh, it's March the 492nd today, so. <laughs> yeah. Happy yeah. March, yeah. Right? It does, it feels like, just the, what's the craziest thing Steven, for you in the last 12 months? What is just the thing that you're like, do you remember when that thing happened? Uh, wow, uh, let's see. Yeah, I I moved to Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 that's the craziest. I guess, yeah, not to get like super into like my personal life too much, but uh, that's one of the craziest things that happened to me this year. So yeah, I moved to LA. Fantastic. What did that happen? <laughs> that happened in about uh, in November. Uh, so yeah, I my my lease was up in Texas. I was like, well, uh, I might as well give it a shot. <laughs> it's Everybody like a, leaves and nobody tells me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't really say. I didn't really like make an announcement. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sneakily go over there, I guess. Or oh not God. really sneakily, but like I was like, uh, I, I'm just gonna do it. I don't want to make a big big stink over it. <laughs> it's not like I could see people. Yeah. You know? So I was like, well. <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh, I had no idea. Yeah. There's been like a train. Like been, yeah. Right? So Michael Michael's gone, he's in LA now. So Michael I'll, and Brandon yeah. and yeah. Damien gone. Damon Damon Mills. Damon Mills, yeah. Um Amber Howard. Yes, yes, yeah. it's yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. somebody that I'm really there was probably ten to twelve who just like Texas one day and then a week later whoop. and like on one hand I can't blame anybody for leaving <laughs> on the other hand how dare you how dare I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> okay so what uh do you have a new favorite spot in in LA are you like in LA proper or are you in in one of the burbs like what's what's been your experience going west yeah, I'm currently uh living in Glendale right now and uh okay. I, my favorite spot is my studio because that's where I spend most of time, my time because like there's no other. <laughs> I mean, but aside from that, uh, there has like I've been I visited a few beaches and oh, good. The beaches here are fantastic. OK, have you gone to any of the mountain spots out west? Uh, I've been I've been hiking a few times and went okay. to. Uh, yeah, there's a pretty close park near me that I like to frequent like to hike up. It's really nice. The views I'm are so amazing. envious. <laughs> yeah. Visit and come on over and visit and take you to the beaches and. <laughs> oh God, I want to. The second travel is like not the most horrifying thing I can possibly conceive of. I'm, yeah. I am going to visit everybody out there. Okay, so are you are you a driver or do you just have to fly? Because I feel like you can totally hop in a car. I mean, it's going to take fifteen hundred miles. But... Uh, yeah. Um, I mean. All, uh, all things being equal, if yeah. the only if the only problem was me uh, having to be on a plane, yeah, um, I could do it. But I mean, like, I don't want to. I don't want to have to spend that much time in the car to uh, have to put on a mask and stay six feet away from everybody that I want to see and not be able to go like check out local restaurants. You know, I got. Um, it's not worth it right now. I, uh, yeah, it's it's not it's so not worth it. <laughs> also, there was a recall on my car recently. Uh, there's a thing that happens sometimes in the engine where it can explode. So <laughs> I well, need to get that fixed before I <laughs> yeah before yeah, yeah, I yeah, decide to drive twelve hours. It's like <laughs> playing Russian roulette every time you get in your car. Then. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna here's here's my PSA for the day um, because of how how much we travel at color world my phone is full of like helpful things to travel with my my new favorite one is uh bp me so bp me 
allows you to pull up to any BP and unlock the gas pump and pay without touching a thing from your phone. And it gives you five cents off per gallon at any BP. So in terms of making traveling without having to go inside, without having to touch literally anything, yes. So I don't know if I've seen a BP on my drive. Yeah, I was about to, to say, I'm like, so. when was the last time I saw a BP? Yeah, yeah. Is there, my, <laughs> is there no... Okay, out west, yeah. out west, Chevron is a big one. Uh, all right, fine, you guys. I will... <laughs> Now that you shut down my travel t- Google, you have you have my home address. Give me the coordinates of the That's closest what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go I'm gonna look at apps that are specifically relevant to you. You're like that. That's not useful information. I'll take different info. <laughs> I'm gonna write that's on my list. After I with the corporate taxes, I'm gonna give you a how to make your life more convenient with five apps, Manny. Okay. I right. desperately please organize my life, Brad. I need yeah. help. I need help. Are Same, you? Please. Are you, okay. are you, are you? <laughs> uh, do a, either of you have a person who is the organizer in your family? If it's not you, who's the person in your life that's the organizer? It's my mom. Okay. Has she, I'm like, like always, like, out of the womb, like, your mom's just <clears throat> always, like, the default in charge? She's the most type A personality I've ever met. <laughs> she's just on top of everything like and that's and that was her job like this her whole career is in like yeah she worked like retail so she would do all these like big floor moves and in inventory and have to uh, um she didn't yep. usually work with customers uh which she loved because that just meant she had a team and she got to like tell people what to do and and you know how to make stuff pretty um ah uh, hi josh um and uh, and yeah, so and she's missing. You know, she hasn't been to work. You know, because yeah, pandemic. Yeah. Um, so she's like, every now and then she'll be like, I have to fix something today. She's like, I just have to, I just have to reorganize something today. Like, does she ever floor plan the house? Do you get? Is there a plan no. for your pantry? If there's a plan for your pantry, I now love your mother. There's not, but it's because she's a very short lady and oh. she can't reach the higher shelves. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that would be so next level if it's like for ta- like the items for taller people are like that would be. I don't even know how to. Um, <laughs> have to do, okay, Lazy Susan, yes or no? Stephen Fu, Lazy Susan, yes or no? I. I love it. In, like <laughs> inside the pantry? Right, like, yes. Oh, inside a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, inside pa- a pantry? No. Oh, well, no? It, dep- it depends on how big and what you have on there. I'm not, I don't have a big enough pantry, so I've never used one. So. Okay. <laughs> Maddie. I would, I would say yes. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. only concern is that it takes up so much of your real estate and you lose the corners. Yes. Well, and then you don't have a way to like reach over or around, you know, to the, uh, to the other corners. You, without knocking stuff over well so they're okay they're usually only used in the corner and because because the corner is so problematic on a set of uh, right they lazy susan but right we've been huh. so i'm we, thinking of my own pantry like okay. in the other I room which is just flat <laughs> against you know oh, in the yeah. wall i'm like that's so, yeah, no no need if it's we're we um my parents my mom almost died in december uh, and so I was like, okay, like, I don't know how much time my parents, like mortality became very real. Um, mm-hmm. and I've been telling my mom since I can remember. So I don't know, six, seven, eight years old and I'm 41 now. So it's been three decades of telling my mom, she's going to come live with me. So I was like, you're, you're doing this. You're not, you're going to leave the hospital and go to Iowa. You're not going to go back. You're going to just. And so we've been designing a space from scratch, from the ground up, for my parents to live in. Um, and I just that in that. And I, you're butting heads over the idea of a lazy Susan. She's just so she's just so against the idea of a lazy Susan that it's tearing your family apart. Oh, so, no. Is that where we're headed? He's okay, but Rachel, I found out because it's really like my mom will throw an opinion or two out there, and then be like, "You two do whatever you want to." So, but then. <laughs> Then I find out things about Rachel I didn't know. 
like late like i was she's she like wants to burn every lazy susan in the in fact when she's designing the downstairs Interesting. she was like no lazy susan and i was like where where did this hatred of lazy we've had one our whole marriage we've had a cabinet <laughs> i was like why why is we're being married 20 years and i just like, you jealousy like, yeah. jealousy who is this susan who is susan <laughs> who is <laughs> What is your obsession with her? I work so much harder than this yeah. lazy thing. <laughs> <Lazy Susan. laughs> oh. oh man, I love it. Okay, Steven, when you go hiking in LA, yeah. does yeah. that episode ever come to your mind? When you, <laughs> you tell no. you like no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although <laughs> That's me. Nice. Nice. <laughs> No, no. Really? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I find myself, but I do find myself like a lot of times motivating myself, just like I'm gonna, I run all the way to the top, you know. <laughs> it's funny because the first time I ever did it, uh, there was this, um, it's I forget what the trail is called, but it's so steep, and I was like slowly climbing up. I was like, man, how do people do this? And this old couple, this old Asian couple, just like passed me by. I was like what's happening <laughs> like i don't know what i'm doing wrong and then going down two people are just like jumping like goats mountain goats down the steep <laughs> incline i was like i don't know what i'm doing but i've gotten slowly better and i was like this is pretty fun <laughs> i understand it now i do i always think i always think of that that freaking hiking episode of dumbbells yeah. If yeah. I'm walking uphill because they talk about like step down with your flat foot, like you're climbing yep. instead yeah. of walk, yeah, 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 trying yeah. to walk heel toe. And I'm like, I just, I always yes. think about that. I'm like, I never knew this before. Like, <laughs> that helps a lot. That helps Anyways, a lot. It's educational. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So that's because my, my kids, it feels like whatever I'm like preparing, I watch the whole series and then I, I'll hear my kids like, they're like, Oh, what's dad? Dad's watching this this weekend. And, um, my son was like, really got into the, he's like, I'm going to do, I need to, I need to be faster. So I'm going to do the tips in this episode on being faster. What? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. The, the Iliasoa kind of. Uh, and and my, daughter, my oldest daughter, um, the first time we watched it through when I fell in love, she was waiting until we all left and then doing the workouts after, at the end of every episode. Oh my god, that's so cool! I love, I love hearing it. about that so yeah. much. Like it's so yeah. Ah, uh, okay, it's so, motivating and yeah. yes. <laughs> Tell me, Stephen, what was your experience when this? So, who pitched it to you? I don't. I have to look up who directed it and what was your experience when you jumped in there and and saw that it was so much more than just a goofy story. Uh, uh let's see. Jade Jade was the director. She's a fantastic yeah. person. Wonderful. Lovely Jay Saxton. Love Jay. Um, yeah, she uh, <clears throat> she cast me, and she I just got a text from her one day. She's like, "You want uh, you want to play this character?" And I was like, "Oh, sure." I, I had no idea what it was, and then I looked it up. I was like, "What in the world <laughs> is this show? <laughs> what am I getting myself into?" But then I watched like the first two episodes. I was like. I like this show. <laughs> like, yeah. it's really cool. It's not like, you know, service level is like very sad fan servicey and all that stuff. But like, deep in, if you like, you know, watch it, watch it. It's really educational. And, you know, it, it doesn't get everything correct. I've, I've gotten texts from my friend Jeff. It's like, oh. it's like, you got, they got all this, these terminologies wrong. But like, you know, the, the heart of it, it's in the right, it's in the right place. You know, it wants to help people like, motivate people to, to work out and things like that and make it very easy for, for people to, to get into it, you know, because working out is kind of hard and uh, it's, it's, it's a barrier to kind of overcome. It's like a mental barrier that you have to overcome to, to get motivated to do it. And like the easier it is, I think the better. Fantastic. All oh, right. Yeah. Hey, Maddie, what was your experience uh, with dumbbells? The exact opposite of Stevens. I knew everything about it from the get go. <laughs> That's awesome. So it was um, it, it was announced um, as like, hey, this is coming out this summer. And I saw it. I saw the key art for it, like the first poster. And I went, oh, my God, I'm in love with it. <laughs> it's like, it's a bunch of cute anime girls that work out. I love it. And I looked it up and I read about it. And I did the thing that you're never supposed to do, which is I wanted it. Yeah, um, but you got it. 
And I, yeah, and I, I even, uh, I told my boyfriend at the time, I told, uh, I told a, a friend of mine, like, we were just talking about, like, hey, this show's coming up because, you know, we don't have hobbies. We all need to get a hobby. But it's like, all we do is talk about work. So we were talking about, like, the next show's coming up. And I was like, man, I would really love to be in this show. And it was, it wasn't even like a, it wasn't even uh, like, hey, put in a good word for me. It was just, God, this looks so good and so cute. I, God, I would love to do this. And even looking at the art, I was like, my stupid sounding voice doesn't fit. I like, I don't think this fits any of these cute girls on the art. And I'm like, eh. oh, I'm like, no. I won't be in it. It's fine. It's like, it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> and then I got a text from Jade that said, hey, would you come play Hibiki for me? And I was in the awesome. car. I was in the, I was like leaving a, a rehearsal or something. And I got in the car and checked my phone and I screamed. And I was like, yes. Was like, fuck. I'm like, ah. She's like, just destroying everything. Oh, um, awesome. And, Could not uh, have been better, a better person to play Hibiki, please. I love her so much. She's fantastic. She's so good. She's so good. The most real anime characters. Like, she knows where she falls short. She's okay. Like the very last episode was such a heartwarming. Um, yeah, go ahead. You just that. Yeah, just that very last shot of the show. Because so much of so much of the show is is her struggling to make progress and struggling to to motivate you know herself. Yeah. And that's something that's something else that I really like about this show is that it's all very respectful and very healthy. And like yeah. the the impetus for the entire show was her best friend making a fat joke and being like, well, you're never gonna get a boyfriend. Meh. And that was the last time yeah. that <laughs> kind of thing ever happened. And from then on out, it was, I wanna be hot, I wanna be fit, I wanna do this, I wanna be healthy, I wanna do this for me. Yeah. And yeah. also, I really like food. Um, yeah. and, I, and I love that and there is so much genuine joy and respect in the way that the show was set up that, you know, like you had fun watching her struggle because that's relatable. And then the very last shot of the show where she weighs herself in and she she likes whatever she sees. Mm -hmm. And she know, you know, like she got to watch herself achieve a goal that she set for herself. Yeah. And that she was the only one who could have worked towards that. And, you know, like there wasn't some big anime, you know, deus ex machina, you know, some fantasy god came down and granted her magic powers or whatever. It was just, I worked hard <clears throat> to do the thing and I did the thing. Yeah. The the competition yeah. where they, they uh, you know, the last episode is um, how heavy are those um, <clears throat> bells, but uh, oh my gosh. How heavy are those? What is the bench press called? Barbells? How heavy are those barbells? I is, think that the last, is that the last episode? I think it's called How Heavy Are Those Barbells? Uh, and they had that competition. And she's like, oh, I'm so excited to compete against Hibiki. And she's worked so hard. And it's going to be the first time that we can co compete on a level playing field. This is so. And she's like, she gets him. She looks over. And Hibiki's like, I didn't eat enough. Out. <laughs> And then the two of them, he's like crying. Like, we had this one chance. And Hibiki was like, nah, you won fair and square. That's the real me out there. <laughs> I just, and she was like, and I'm okay. I'm okay that I lost to you. I, like you said, she did the thing. She worked really hard and then got to the end. And that, that, that less, that healthy lesson of like, and, it's okay to blow it. You're, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, yeah. like, I think there's, there's, there's that mental health lesson in there, too, of, like, recovery is not linear. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. nothing is, nothing is linear. Um, yeah, everyone yeah. goes their own pace. It's like, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's the show is really, it's got, it's great. It's, <laughs> it's one wonderful. of my, it's one of my favorite <laughs> projects I have ever, ever gotten to work on. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, Stephen. What when when he when he flexes for the first time and everything flies off? Did you know that was coming, or was that like in the booth as you're recording that line? I I because I watched. I like peeked at the episode. Oh my god! You okay. have you have the 
Oh my God, that is awesome. It's uh, very big on me. <laughs> that is amazing. It's it's cause it's for so you can like flex yeah, it and get, yeah. it doesn't rip. It won't rip. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was amazing though. The first time I I saw, it, I was like, "Oh my god, this tiny little man, <laughs> like, unassuming man!" He's like, Psh. "It was so great." I is one of my favorite memories to see. Like, because I was like, "I get to do that!" Like in the booth, <laughs> I got to make those weird noises. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Um, did you do any prep as far as the like? You know the episode ends, and then they then they teach you about fitness. Did you like? Did you do anything to prepare for that? Did you treat that any differently than you did recording the episode? So prior, uh, I guess I I kind of like dabbled in working out for a bit. Um, I used to like. I wanted way back before I joined like voiceover, got into voiceover. I was like wanting to like improve myself uh, with like you know, working out, things like that. I like did those like P90X. I like dabbled in that. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I started and then Reddit, I got on a Reddit and then there's our fitness. And then they have like all these different like workout routines that for like beginners and stuff like that. I did like five by five for a while. And then I went to five, three, one, uh, was it Grayskull LP, something like that. Anyways. So I had a little bit of a background with like working out and things like that. But, um, uh, aside from that, not too much. I, I was kind of learning along <laughs> as I was recording. I was like, oh, cool. This is really interesting. <laughs> That's weird yeah, yeah, for yeah. me to hear because the last time I saw you, I swear to God, like, you were ripped as hell. You were <laughs> breaking in half. <laughs> so Look at me. I'm like all flab. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> you have destroyed me. <laughs> Have either of you done um, uh, T25? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, what is that? I don't know okay. what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been prepared when I, uh, when I let the work out. So I, I love Shanti. I have no problem at all admitting that I'm in love with Shanti. He is world-renowned world uh, fitness guy. Let's see. Share. Anybody who has any exposure to Beachbody, has heard of Shanti and who Shanti is. Um, I was at a point in my life when we lived in North Dakota that I only had 25 minutes. I'm not P90. I was like 90 minutes. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So, well, and then as if Shanti heard me out loud say, I, <laughs> I'm not doing P90X too much time commitment. They came out with this T25. It's just 25 minutes a day. And they have alpha and beta and gamma, and the workouts increase as you uh, become less sucky. Uh, and you can, they have a modifier, her name's Tanya. I love Tanya. You can tell I'm like super into T25. <laughs> but the modifier is the person who does what Shanti's doing, but realistically. But for a normal uh, human that's body. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right? And so uh, uh, I just, I had this friend of mine who is a beach body training coach. And I was like, all right, man, give me the real scoop. Is this worth my time? And several of my kids have gone through T25 with me. Um, nice. We even found it the other day when we moved to Iowa and we unpacked and yeah. we're like, let's, let's put it back in. And it, it holds up. We started all the way back over doing T25 again. Like it's, it's really spectacular. Um, for any, I highly recommend it for anybody that wants to like seriously get into, and it's such a reasonable time commitment. Yeah, so that's been that's been my problem is I fell off of when we when we first started doing dumbbells, I just started working with a personal trainer, oh. and that stopped happening for a while, um, and I I started to try to get back into it, and like when when the pandemic shut everything down, I bought Ring Fit Adventure for the Switch. And I was like, I'm gonna make myself play this game. And I oh, played yeah. a lot yeah. of it for several months. Okay. And then I started picking up extra work. Okay. And I was like, I have to spend all my time doing all of this extra work. Like I gotta focus on this. And then the extra work didn't stop. And so we got four, five, six, seven weeks away from me regularly yeah. exercising. And I was like, ah, I don't know if I can get back into this. And now I'm a big old, you know, couch potato. I have the musculature of an al dente noodle. Um, 
I can't get out of bed without giving myself a Charlie horse. Like oh. I'm, I cannot stress enough. I'm the least fit person uh, on the planet. Nope. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm chronically dehydrated. Like it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I'm like the pen. I've been, trying, I've been trying to like convince myself to just just get up in the morning and just stretch for five minutes. Like do some do some it's, lunges. You it's can hard it. when you're busy, you know. It's because it work takes a lot out of you. Uh, I had no idea because I re after I moved, uh, I was like I had a lot, bunch of free time, but I still didn't work out because lazy. Um, and gyms are closed. Uh, but um, <clears throat> and then I started getting I, I took on more work as like Maddie has and to kind of fill my time and, and then i just got more and more busy and as that went on i just lost a ton of motivation to do anything after work <laughs> and like all i wanted to do was just veg out and as you can see i've become a potato and uh <laughs> it was i mean i've actually this week i was like all right you know what i'm gonna like i'm gonna do 50 push-ups 50 squats 50 like as, as many pull-ups as i can do and like I started doing that, and the next day I was sore. I was like, "Oh man, I haven't felt like this in a while. It feels pretty good." Right? <laughs> I might yeah. keep doing it, you know. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, yeah. Making the time is the hardest thing, I think. I so, do want to get back on top of it. Okay, I miss uh, it. Uh, that's that's my recommendation. Then is let me see. Share here's my here's my favorite part, you guys. Oh, please, let me see. Yes, please. Yes, please. There's a counter on the screen the whole time. So you don't even have, like, you don't even have to hide the fact that all you want to do is get to tw get to zero and stop. Like, it's so realistic. There's Tanya. There's Tanya in the in the gray. She's your modifier. She's always to the right of Shanti. Um, and it's, I'm t the music is good. Like. <laughs> Shanti is a beautiful human. <laughs> it makes you believe you can do it. He's there for you the whole time. Like that's awesome. It, and Maddie, there's a stretch video. There's a whole T25 wow. that's just stretch. I'm terrified of what's gonna happen because I used to do. You know what? There's the episode of Dumbbells where they did like they talked about dynamic stretches. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I was like, oh, I should incorporate this, and that's what I started doing at rehearsals and performances when I was doing theater. And I realized I hadn't done that in a while. And I'm like, I should get back into that because I'm going to be, um, you, you know, okay. Yeah. You know, those little toys that, that we had when we were kids that were like the little puppets on a stand that falls with over the string it, through them. Yeah. You push the yeah. bottom and it collapses. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> That's no, no, no. <laughs> same, 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 same. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the best shaped potatoes I've ever seen, just so you guys know. <laughs> no. It's a yeah. potatoes than you two. I hide it well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's well, like you didn't you didn't see the four days this week where I didn't get out of my pajamas. Like <laughs> you get out of your pajamas? Well, today I did for you. Oh, I <laughs> for you and for Steven. I have my pajamas on right now. Like I don't believe. In fact, as soon as October hits, I wear pajama pants every single day from October to April or May. I did buy a whole bunch of new pajama pants, yeah. like when, over the the last year. When it's cold, you just put your other pants over your pajama pants. You never get out of your pajamas. Like that's the trick. That's how. We can live in Iowa and North Dakota and Montana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. layer up, bud. Layer up. It's all pajama pants. Yes. Yes. It's all the it's way all down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like five pairs of pajama pants. <laughs> oh, I try, to, I try to have the outer layer jeans just so it gives us the facade that I dressed myself today. <laughs> <laughs> all pajama pants. I, so I have the, um, the athletic uh you know the my my F, but i'm telling you your your athleisure batman my batman and robin pajama pants are right underneath so nice yeah nice i have no fear <laughs> i res i respect that thank you i don't even know where i i learned i just getting dressed and undressed in the cold my problem i mean it sucks which you know i just Texas just got hit by that ice storm a couple of weeks ago, and I was we were without power at my house for uh, two solid days, and then on and off for another day after that. Um, so I hear ya. 
I'm not used to that. But also, my problem is that all of my jeans are skinny jeans because I'm a millennial. Oh. So Rachel will go leggings instead of pajama pants. She'll go leggings and then other pair of pants. I did, I did like uh, sweater tights, like the really thick knit sweater tights, and then my jeans, and then some like big socks. Nice. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a snob on my socks. Do you, who's, who sleeps in socks? I can't. I cannot. Yeah, I can't either. It's, it feels weird. And like, to me. I have bad <laughs> circulation, but like, I don't know. I feel, I feel trapped. Well, I, yeah, I yeah. like it. 40 degrees or 50 degrees in my bedroom, and then I like to sleep in my socks. I was about to say, if it gets that cold, though, that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I find that when I when I don't have my socks on, I feel like I'm swimming, like, in my bed. I'm like... See, oh. I love that. Oh. Yep. I love that Same. feeling. Like, Feels clean sheets. Like, oh, yeah, clean that sheet. and clean yeah. sheets. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. After a shower, you just hop into bed. It's like, oh, it's nice. <laughs> Wonderful feel. We're gonna we're gonna finish this panel, and I'm gonna go wash my sheets. Yeah, and I'm gonna put clean sheets on my bed because that sounds nice. You're gonna work out, and then you're gonna no. Out. <laughs> <laughs> just go straight for the gratification. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Come on. Oh man, that's so funny. Uh, Steven, do you ever roll with Bill Butts out there in in LA? Unfortunately, haven't, uh, dude. To this current situation but prior to this when i've met him a few times uh there was a, the first time i met him he was like steven foo <laughs> he's such a nice guy he's and he's best. like i love he's like i love dumbbells so much <laughs> i was like whoa man like when i when he found out that i did it he's like <gasps> he like his face completely like lit up and it was yeah. it was amazing and uh he, that night he ended up he's like let me curl you let me curl you. <laughs> So I was like, let's do it. Like, this guy's this guy's a beast. I was like, all right, here we go. I like uh, I got it. And then he I just lied it laid into his arms and then he just started curling me. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> There's like a bunch of people around and stuff. I was like, wow. When was this? This was like last maybe two two Decembers ago. Oh my god. Two Decembers ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one it is I mean, I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. Yeah. I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's a video somewhere. I'll see if I can post. Is it there again. really? Oh, please, yes. Yeah, it might be on on Bill's Instagram from ages ago. I'll, I have to go find it. Yeah, you can find that. Please, <laughs> Let me please see like, if I can find it myself too. And then what, when Anime Expo comes back, Stephen, I'm gonna have you and Bill. We, they they give us the opportunity to host people for autograph signings. I would love to get you all down there for, for dumb <laughs> like exercise and, and anime and then you, great. yeah it's so much fun uh, so anime much fun. is like the crazy like the fact that they even thought about attempting like kudos to them for e trying to think their way through like what it might look like this year but it, it's it, that's it, a rough yeah i don't know landscape oh yeah. it's uh, 125,000 30,000 people <laughs> like it's even with the entire like ugh, two city blocks, like I, I was, we were Rachel and I and Autumn were talking. And I was like, "Can you imagine, guys, the line six feet apart, six feet apart for a hundred thousand people? Right. We would they'd have to <laughs> the city to like for the line to go to Anime Expo if you were six feet apart." Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, with any luck. Their, their like thought process for this year will result in not taking an hour. It it's a good hour to get in. If you're not on the vendor side, it's it's legitimately an hour plus to get into Anime Expo. My understanding is that's how it is when there's not a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like, I, I just hope that's the one thing that if I could, man, if I could get them to do anything different, it would be like, Autumn had a great idea to think of like you could buy which time you go. Like if you want to get in the very beginning, your ticket would be like a hundred bucks more. And then if you want to mm -hmm. get in, because let's face it, you're not getting in for like an yeah. hour. You yeah. Know yeah. I mean? yeah. The yeah, Dallas Arboretum does that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, like right. when you when you <gasps> yeah, that's reserve right. a time, reserve time and, yeah. and then you have like a, like an hour and a half, two hours or whatever to walk through the Arboretum. 
and that's how they like keep their flow down. I think this, I think the zoo might be doing that too. Like, why not? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. dope. Yeah. And they, should, they could come up with something <clears throat> to do that's like they have that whole open area outside. They should totally add programming outside. Yes, and then if you, you have yeah. to, if you <laughs> have to do it, do it outside. Outside, do it outside. Oh yeah. my gosh, we just solved the anime. <laughs> line problem maddie you're genius it depends on the weather though <laughs> when yeah, is anime expo is. usually <laughs> july july 4th weekend could be pretty pretty warm maybe oh, maybe <laughs> especially with cosplay and <laughs> with cosplay in the city <laughs> in the yeah city. it's gonna all that freaking concrete yeah. but maybe we could do misters misters outside that's like a california light they could bring in some mister station have you ever been at an outdoor restaurant with misters or like it, yeah, like Six Flags, <laughs> like <laughs> they could Six Flags yeah. in the summer, just like a little Mister in front of a fan. It's just yeah, yes, big fan of Misters with uh, they just move Anime Expo to November. Yo, just move it. Yes, yeah, move it. To What's happening in November? I mean, aside from Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. But, uh, yeah, nobody goes to that. That's like a <laughs> <laughs> not, anymore. Anime, anime not anymore. Not anymore. Not <laughs> anymore. Uh, Rhode Island Comic Con is the only thing I can think of off the top of my head for sure. That's that's November. I would mm, love. Uh, I thought would... you were gonna say that is Thanksgiving weekend, and I was like, what? No, I don't. I don't. There is. There's. There's one or two shows that are Thanksgiving weekend, but that just seems like a scary. That's a scary ask to me. Like yeah. to ask them to show up. That like I would be so scared that nobody would go to that. Mm. There's a. There's a convention in Austin that is New Year's. Oh, that's totally yeah. Which is cool. I went once. Sac Anime is um, New Year's. That's a great. <clears throat> See, yeah, a New Year's a New Year's convention would be yeah would be a rad convention. I can't imagine. Can you imagine? Can you imagine freaking going to a convention on Christmas weekend? <sighs> there's <laughs> like four Christmas. I think there's yeah. there's one. I think there's one. Um, I bet there is. I freaking I, uh, bet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Do it again. <laughs> oh, my Thank God. You. Bless you. I'm trying to drink my... This is... Um, I I love ginger beer. I'm trying to, like... Uh, ginger is very good for you, so I'm trying to get um, my my craft soda with a bite. This is what the, what the label on the ginger is. <laughs> so... Um, and then I have... Uh, I, I do an entire blender thing for my smoothie, and then I'll drink, I don't know, what is that, 60, 100 ounces? I don't know. It's a pretty big smoothie. That's so much. You're yeah. taking such good care of yourself. Like, I have like I have one Topo Chico that I've had for three hours now. Like, <laughs> oh, it's, it's the, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. I, <laughs> I told Rachel I would I would give her a husband with abs like seven years ago, and I'm I'm still where Hibiki is, man. Yeah. Did you say when? Yeah, yeah. Thank heavens I didn't. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have a date. Um, <laughs> it's it's so hard. There's um uh, there's so much sugar in fruit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, yeah. When you put it in your smoothie, you 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 have to be careful. Like that's where the taste is going to come from but it's also where all of the sugar is going to come from you know yep. yeah 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 that's what that's what that was that was just sure <laughs> it's just, sure. It just, it just, it just pure sugar let's be honest mm. i'm appreciated my smoothie it's pure sugar it's delicious Madeline. it's brown it's delicious. <laughs> do you do you have a powder that you use uh yeah my dad's got some giant tub of protein powder i don't know it's almost it's almost empty i don't even know what it is i took i mentioned something about it on on twitter once and uh uh jeff Vicente, he's an, an engineer out in la um uh he was like uh, he like dm'd me and he was like what brand do you use he's like let's talk <laughs> i have a favorite i'll send you a coupon yeah. <laughs> like, oh that's awesome <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> I love I love him. He yeah. rocks, yep. <laughs> uh, and is another human being who could, in fact, break me in half. Uh, yes, he is a, he is a huge dude. I have I've had the the opportunity to work out with him, and 
let me tell you, that guy can move some weight. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. I'll that'll kill me. <laughs> well, I post these videos sometimes, and I'm like, a human person should yeah. <laughs> be able to do that. Like, yeah, are you getting yeah. are you getting your superpower from our yellow sun? Like, what is <laughs> happening? Yeah, That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So there, do you, so you, Stephen, do you have one that you use as far as the protein goes? Nope, I uh, my diet is very bad, <laughs> very very bad. I don't, I uh, I don't <laughs> like. I just eat what tastes good to me. <laughs> never, I've never done like protein powders or anything like that because I, I don't know. I definitely really don't. I do just don't eat enough protein, so I like the I like having the powder around. Yeah. Just like I'll just drink a glass of milk. Yep. This, stuff in it. Uh, this is one that I, uh, Rachel was kind of like you, Maddie. It's like whatever was in the kitchen. She would just be like, oh, protein powder. Brad, will, that'll work for Brad. He'll deal with it. Um, <laughs> so then I finally was like, all right, that's it. I'm running out. I'm going to actually intentionally choose. I've really been wow. happy with this Super Greens. Um, I like the chocolate. Um I, I've tried some like unflavored ones or some vanilla ones, but this is a really good one. I don't know how I'm tr texting this to myself. <laughs> yeah. Screen grab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. I'll, I can text. I'll just take a picture of the screen and text it, <laughs> and then you'll have it. Um, oh, hell yeah. It does taste good. Um, I really like it. And if it has everything that it claims to have in it, you know, the wheatgrass, <laughs> the spirulina, then it has amazing things in it. I, there was, so I used to work, my, my day job used to be at uh, a local theater, um, uh, like a live theater. And uh, I spent about a year and a half with them. Um, half of it was like stage management stuff. Half of it was like building sets, but all of it was very intense, hyper-focused, like most of the time. And you know, if you're doing if you're doing live theater and you're around people and you're up and moving that much and around people, you can't get sick. Um, and there was a uh, there's a smoothie shop right around the corner that I would frequent, um, and they did wheatgrass shots. Yep. Um, and at one point we had like we had a big opening night party. And normally, like, if you had to work the opening night party, like, you were off the next day. And I don't, or maybe, or maybe it was just a, we went out on Saturday night and had to be back for the Sunday matinee. I don't know. Yeah. I got drunk one night and then had to be back in the morning. Oh. That's the conceit of this story. <laughs> and I was fine, you know, but I was like, I can do my job today. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I just don't want to oh. and my my boss at the time was like come with me and you'll be <laughs> and so we like walked around to the smoothie place um and i was like yeah i could use a smoothie and he goes you're gonna drink a wheatgrass shot and i went do i have to and he said yes and i said okay it tasted like lawn clippings yeah grass yeah like yeah. I like I don't yeah like I don't know what else I expected I'm like I could have exactly just like <laughs> pulled up a handful of grass from the median and just chewed on it and it would have had the yeah. same effect um but it like that became that became my thing I was like it's oh. gross but I would go get like a very like citrusy like you know mm. immune boost like extra supplements whatever and also give me a wheatgrass shot yeah because you and that was citrus and I don't know, I mean, there's, there's, I'm sure there's a component of that. Like, I don't know if it did as much as I think it did so immediately. I think there's a placebo component to that, but I, it was worth, it was worth paying for. I was just like, this is going to change my whole day. And then it did. And I'm like, great. That's awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have the heapy heap thing where I just love eating things like, just the taste of food, the just the experience of eating food. It's just, I just love it so much that like, that's why I don't do like protein shakes. Cause like, I, I'd rather eat, like put something in my, like chew on and eat it. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, it's the <laughs> I have no control. <laughs> like eating food takes so much time. It, it does. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you do it healthy, man, you could easily be in the kitchen for an hour per meal if you're trying sure. to be healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's a real time commitment, and I think that was the hardest. My my smoothie got man. It's it's got to be thirty minutes to put in all of the ingredients. It's like <laughs> ginger. I'm 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 squeezing a lot. I have a citrus press. I'm like squeezing oh, a wow. every single day. There's avocado. Yeah. There's flaxseed, chia seed, peanut I butter. Flaxseed in my smoothie. Why didn't I do that? I have some. <laughs> in it. Uh, peanut butter, yogurt, need my probiotics, uh, mm -hmm. apple cider vinegar, lemon, honey, ginger. Yeah. Local honey is good for the immune system. It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. What I do like this. I normally, we don't take questions, but I love, what's, what's your favorite pandemic meal? Cinnamon what? toast crunch. Really? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you eat it before? Oh. Of course I did. <laughs> oh hey, my God. It's the most common pandemic meal. I'll put it that way. Is it really? Okay. Uh, I love cereal. I can't, <clears throat> like, that's going to be the hardest thing. Like, when my body starts to deteriorate and my doctor <laughs> says you have to change your diet or you'll die, the hardest thing that I'm going to do is stop eating cereal. I would, like, I can't do it. Um, Stuff. Okay. Yeah. Cereal's hard. Oh, let's see. For me, yeah, oh boy. Uh, God, what have? I make a lot of tacos. Really easy. Tacos are. I was gonna say like spaghetti because it's just so easy to do. Like spaghetti and baked. You bake it with some cheese on top, and it's like delicious. <laughs> That's yeah. That's all, healthy, it, that's all it takes, man. And you just eat some broccoli. I'll put some broccoli, steam some broccoli, and put it on the side. But. Okay, Maddie, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a cereal suggestion. <laughs> Don't you give me your health some yeah wheat good biscuits. For you. Get out of here. Wheat cereals. <laughs> I want, I want sugar coated. I want my Fruit Loops. <laughs> my marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, I guess if you want to buy some marshmallows, I'll go along with your. But this cereal is has become the favorite in my family. Um, my dad and I, unbeknownst to each other, this is our favorite cereal. My if I, if you don't watch my dad, he you will find him all day long sneaking into and just digging his hand into the box of <laughs> and wow. it's, guys, it tastes so good. It's we get, there's these like like Quaker oats like cinnamon square cereal that's like a very similar thing and that's like there are days where I'll just like go by and just grab a handful of those and be like this is better for me than some things. <laughs> <laughs> Something in my pantry is worse than this. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could be making a worse choice today and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you get a chance to check out. The key to this cereal is uh, because it tastes so good and is also healthy, it's hard to find. My mom called Kashi and was like, why can't I get my husband this freaking cereal? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. There's distribution issues with this cereal. Wow. So when I, when I drive across the country, I will raid stores and buy 10 to 12 boxes, and then we stockpile it. There's been a wow. grape nut shortage. Is there really? There's a grape nuts shortage right now. We had trouble getting grape nuts. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure why. I don't yeah. like. I don't know if it's like a like the world war, the war effort in the 1940s <laughs> needed the elastics, so we couldn't buy nylons for our women. You know, I don't know if it's like <laughs> the pandemic needs wheat. Wheat, wheat, <laughs> and <laughs> grape nuts. Oh, man. <laughs> for for a man on the front line. <laughs> I want to see you do a Fallout commercial now. Like you need to <laughs> you in any Fallout games, Maddie. You totally nailed that. I man, that's a voice I don't get to use. <laughs> Not an anime. Not an anime. <laughs> oh, no, but it could be like in a. Uh, is there any modern war? I almost feel like the latest season of Attack on Titan. I feel like they really jumped times. 
The thing, the thing about that mm -hmm. accent, though, is that it doesn't exist naturally. It's a fake accent that was created for film. Right. And so, like, it's such a time capsule of a yeah. sound. Yeah. It's like, yeah. there's a very limited, like, time frame that that is appropriate. Um, man. I want to see the <laughs> fallout. It's a perfect fallout. Like, that's the time oh. period. That's the, I can see it. All right. My laptop's going to die. One sec. Oh, you're good. I can fix this. <laughs> we have the technology. Uh, oh like God, so, Steve, <laughs> spaghetti is your go-to pandemic? Huh? Your spaghetti is your go-to pandemic? No, I, you know, honestly, I think it's been so varied, uh, but one of my favorite and easiest things to eat is uh, a grilled cheese with soup, like the tomato soup. I like put mayo on the outside of the gr uh, of those of the bread, and then I toast it, and then I slower. put some sh shredded slower. cheese, and like let it melt, and then I just flip it over with some more mayonnaise, and then I sprinkle some garlic salt over it, and it's just it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you bite into it, it's like crunchy. I'm so and, like, happy. <laughs> it's, it's it's the worst thing probably you could eat, but it's so delicious. And then you dip it in that soup. Some yeah. pickle, you can eat some pickles with it, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> you ever add pesto or tomato to your grilled cheese? What's I do that. that really. Yeah. I made a yeah, I made a uh, best grilled cheese I ever made. Um, yeah. had uh, had fresh basil and, and tomato. Really? Yes, and yes. Great. If you ever want to mix it up, Stephen, just yeah. one, one side of the inside, do pesto on the okay. inside. Yeah, if you want to get real nasty, drop a fried egg in it. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, Steven, when uh, when you were still in Texas, did you ever go to the Dallas Grilled Cheese Company? I had, what? What is this place? It's is a, this? It, it is a grilled cheese only restaurant. <laughs> what? Um, and they've got, it's so good. Uh, oh. They also have, they also have like fancy cocktails and stuff. So like I, oh, anytime I, anytime I had a friend in town, I was like, we're going here. It's like <laughs> this is this is for you, but it's secretly for me. Um, but there was a, and they would do like a rotating like special like sandwich, and there was mm. one that was like a balsamic vinaigrette, like it was like mozzarella and 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 basil and balsamic vinaigrette. It was the best sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god! It was so That's amazing. <laughs> Even I got you. This is the melt out of the oh, oh, they have a place to. Yeah, I have your back. I didn't want you to feel like you'd missed the boat. So, <laughs> whoa! Oh my gosh! I will have to visit this place here. I'm gonna what make, is? I'm gonna pin it on my maps. <laughs> <laughs> I... Maybe I'll be going here after this. I don't know. <laughs> Work, workout, health, health. Panel we've ever. Right. I'm sorry about We're this. To derailing. About grilled cheese. No, <laughs> I did hey, completely derailed it. <laughs> half of half of dumbbells is about food. It is. Yeah, it it's is. true. It's true. For, yeah. for better or worse. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, okay. Favorite thing to drink during the pandemic? Just water. I only have water at home, so I just drink water. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll take both water and ginger beer. I'm super nice. all these. Uh, all these makes a really good ginger beer, like like Ooh. really bitey. It's great. I um a few years ago finally broke my soda habit. Uh, nice. Like through college, it was really like I destroyed my teeth um, <laughs> in college with my soda consumption. Uh, and I finally started to break that when I got like the La Croix and just like flavored seltzer water and whatever. Mm -hmm. And weaned myself off of soda that way, and now I'm now I just drink Topo, nice or just or or you know, I'll drink, you know I have a filter, I have like a Brita filter or whatever, so yeah. I'll, you know I'm trying to keep myself hydrated, but uh, yeah I'm, uh, yeah now it's like I I have a soda like once every eight months, yeah. Man. it's the right thing, it will kill your teeth, yeah it, it really yeah will. I have yeah. a I have a filling in between my two front teeth. Oh, no. oh man. And you were not you went hard on that stuff. Yeah, it was bad. It was a bad time. Man. Um you can't, you can't tell. I also have a fake tooth, but that's unrelated. That's amazing. Yeah. 
That's that one. It's not real. Couldn't tell. Couldn't, couldn't have been able well, to tell. Great dental work. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dentist rocks. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Hey, don't drink soda. Don't. Yeah. Don't drink soda. Yeah, even <laughs> even those sparkling beverages, uh, they can have very. Uh, they can be acidic, and they could also affect your teeth, even mm -hmm. though you're not. You don't know it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some. There's stuff that's carbonated with CO2, and there's stuff that's yeah. carbonated with sodium. Yeah. And that's probably not great for you. Probably not. Yeah. So uh, it's been amazing to have you guys. I really appreciate it. It's, it's been really fun. One of my favorite animes of all time. Uh, I, I think there's just so much, everything from the having a healthy image of yourself that includes being okay with where you fall short is a lesson yeah. that everybody needs. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I agree with that. Yep. It's such a, yeah, it's such a good, just happy, wholesome yeah. thing to, to watch. And even with the fan service, I was like, Dad, watch this show. <laughs> I, it's, it's some of the best fan service. Like, it's it's for everybody. There are uh, ample amounts of uh, actually dudes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it swings both ways. <laughs> girls of all genders are available. Heck yeah. You have you other stuff tells you lift. Yeah. Um, right. The uh, who did Leah write it? I it, it feels Leah bad. Clark was our adaptive writer. Yep. So right. great. She's a hoot. She's, she's a hoot. Uh, and Ian Sinclair was just amazing. Yes. The narr He took that narrator <laughs> and just like <laughs> completely <laughs> elevated the show with it. Sometimes <laughs> I wonder how often he just said something else. Yeah, yeah. I wonder too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's like, I'm just gonna go. I think I asked Morgan at one point. Uh, Morgan Loray was our assistant director, um, and I was like, "Hey, do you just <laughs> does he stick to the script, or do you just tell him to say shit? Like, what do you? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, you know what? Now I don't remember, but I'm very, I'm very willing to bet it. Like, he just <laughs> went. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit of both. A long leash on Ian for that one. Yes. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I mean. You could tell you could tell that man to to stick to the script verbatim, and he would still come up with some of the wackiest, weirdest, yes. off the wall reads you've ever heard in your life. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that that I think is he's Stephen. <laughs> Stephen is he the best part of our dub? <laughs> I think. He, I mean, I would I would I'll definitely can, say I can see it for sure. Yo, absolutely. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> see that to Ian. <laughs> and, and he's a foodie too, which is hilarious. Like, I love that he's part of a project that where food is so important, and he himself is very much a foodie. Oh, I didn't know that. About him. Yeah, he, he's a cook, and um, somebody, because we did a bunch of Food Wars last year where I took on the cast of Food Wars in a real life um, oh, Iron fun. Oh, oh. I remember seeing posts about that. That's that looked cool. like so much fun. Okay, well, good. And I will put on both of you in a Food War this year. All right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It's all for the kid. It's all, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the best part, though, is I, I cheated my 11-year-old. Uh, He's a great cameraman. And so, like, we had, like, in-the-pot shots, like, while I'm cooking. And um, because I don't, I didn't have to worry about the camera. Like, Eob just rolled with it. Um, you Did Eob moderate any of your Hangouts today, Manny? I don't think so. No, it was all Autumn or Rachel. Was it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, no, he did. He, he did. He's a little dude. Yeah. Nobody's got. Nobody's got. It's all like, it's just this color world, and I don't know anybody's names, and I feel like a jerk about it. I was, I was literally gonna email you about that later and be like, I need to know people's names because yeah. I feel like a douche. I was like, <laughs> people's name. So Eob is the. Anytime a kid shows up as the moderator, that's Eob. Um, he rules. Dude, he's a badass. He absolutely oh, rules. He, there's a great, I'll share it with you. I'll find the, in Boston, Fan Expo Boston, um, when he was seven, they came by the booth and they were interviewing people and they're like, hey, we heard that you guys live in an RV and that you, you have like one of your children with you. And he's like, yes. Uh, and then after talking with them for a few minutes, they were like, can we, um, can we take him around the show floor? I was like, absolutely. But he'll, he'll likely take you around. And they handed in the microphone, and he took the camera crew for the local news around the floor of Boston. Oh, wow. It is. That is Man, awesome. he rules. 
That's so cool. He's a, he's a rad dude. So when I was seven, I didn't want anybody to perceive me at all. Oh, really? <laughs> I was just like, don't, don't yeah. look at me. I'm not yeah. here. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's awesome. You're like yeah. Assassin's Creed at seven. You just like <laughs> slip through crowds. Don't touch anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And there were, you know, there was a lot of time where I just, if I, if very ostrich like, if I can't see you, you can't see me. So I spent a lot of, you know. I, I tell Logan, because there's that thing from Jurassic Park, right? They're like, don't move in the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, I'm like, yeah, perceived movement. Yeah. Yes. So whenever Novin's like, I'm like, Novin, you realize I'm not a dinosaur. I can see you. Like, I know you're not moving, but I'm staring right at you. <laughs> Oh, it's a major thing to do. To like, I'm not here. Yeah, so, guys. Wrong world. What, what a pleasure to catch up with you, Steven. So good to meet you, my dude. Pleasure meeting you as well, Brad. Uh, this was fun. We will have to do this again. I think both of you will have hangouts coming up, so definitely check your emails um, for the hangouts. Um, if you guys need anything from me, you know where to find me. And everyone in chat, thank you. Thank you so much for watching Dumbbells, for sure. And then thanks so much for spending your Saturday afternoon with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so All much. Right. See you guys soon. Thanks for